hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding how to inherit and add a new field to one to many lines in Odoo. so currently in the screen you are seeing Odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our Odoo 15 development tutorial so what we will be doing is that we will be inheriting a one to many field and adding a new value inside that so in order to illustrate this i will use the accounting module in Odoo. so i'll go to the invoicing and i'll open the invoices and if i try to create a new record here you can see we have got an one to many field called invoice lines and we have the fields like product label account quantity price taxes etc so let's see how we can add a new field after the product field in Odoo. so first of all we already have learned how to inherit a new inherit and add a new field to a normal model that is a model so with when we come to the one to many field we have to add the field inside the one to many model so if we check here you can see the relation the one to many model is account move line account dot move line so you don't need to add field to account dot move but you have to add the field inside the one to many model that is account move line so let's go to the pie charm here we have the om odo inheritance module and we already have account move dot py file which is imported inside the init file so what i'll do is that i will inherit the account move line model here i'll copy these and I'll name the class as account move line inherit account move line. So see, we have successfully inherited the account move line model. Now what I have to do, I have to add a new field. So if you check here, I'll just add a integer field and I'll name it as serial number. Serial number or line number. I'll name it as line number. Line number equal to fields dot integer and i'll give the string as line number so at the model level we have inherited the model and added the new field called line number so that's all what you have to do inside the python one minute So this is all what we have to do inside the python now what we have to do we have to inherit the corresponding form and add the field to the view so let's see how we can do that so here we have the views folder and here we have got account move, move view.xml where we already have inherited the same form to add this field so we'll be using the same form so if you don't have the form what you have to do is that create a record and you have to specify the model as here you can see we have added the field to the account move line model but in the xml side we have to inherit this form so if we check the edit view form the invoice line that is one to many field is existing inside this view and its model is account dot move so here we have to inherit the model that containing that one to many field so here i'll inherit account dot move model and the view that i have to inherit is account view move form so i have specified it here name is given a unique id is given so that's all what you have to do now what you have to do using xpath expression you have to trace the node and add the field here so let's see how we can create the xpath expression to add the field so i'll copy this xpath expression and i will add a new one so this is the common thing so this is so far this is common and using xpath i have added that field i'll keep it here now we have to inherit or xpath the invoice line and add the field so if we check here if I place the mouse over here, you can see the field name is invoice line IDs. So we have to add the XPath expression as follows field at name invoice line IDs, invoice line IDs. Then 
let's see so if i check the view architecture edit view form where is invoice line ids field so here the notebook and here we have invoice line ids field then inside that we have tree as well as kanban and form that is one to many can have tree view form view and kanban view so we have to currently add the field inside one to many tree that is invoice line ids then tree so here i'll build the next path as invoice line ids slash tree slash then slash so i have reached here that is invoice line ids then i need to add inside this tree after which field here i have the product id field so i'll specify after the product id field so i can do like this field name invoice line ids slash tree inside the tree which field after product id field not after we will make it as before before product id field i need to add the new field called a line number so here i'll add so this is how we can build the export expression invoice line ids then invoice tree that is one to many tree then before the product id field so let's restart the service and let's upgrade the module and see what happens so let me close this and i'll upgrade om inheritance module we have to upgrade inheritance module so the module is getting upgraded and if i come back to the invoice customers invoices click on create you can see the newly added field has been visible now i can select a customer you can see line number i'll put one you can select product etc so this is how you can inherit and add a new field to one to many line if you click on save it has a form view also so right now we have added the value in tree view let's see how we can add to the form view also edit view form edit view form so this is tree and i'll make it here i'll change editable top so that i can get sorry sorry i'll remove the editable attribute so we will be getting the form view click on save if you refresh click on edit so let me remove this line and if you click on add a line you will be getting the pop-up so currently the field is inside the tree so in order to add inside the form view you can add one more xpath expression so right now we have added it inside the tree view now if you need to add it inside one to many form the xpath expression should be as follows so if you check the edit view form here we have invoice line ids then here it is tree then kanpan we have form here so i'll change invoice line ids then i have to go to the form view and inside form view there is sheet and here you have where is product id here you have product id so what i'll do is that fill name product id so you can give like this that is inside invoice line ids form field name product id so if you try to upgrade this you may receive an error so let's see so we have added we, we are going to add in the one to many form also so let me search for inheritance click on upgrade you are getting error because the export expression is wrong inside form we have seen a sheet tag so if you come back to the invoice here you can see click on edit view form if i scroll down and trace invoice line ids invoice line ids then we have specified we have to go to the form view then inside form view there is no field directly but the field is inside sheet so we have to give like this form sheet so you can give like this it will work or you can put double slash so once you put double slash it will check inside for a matching font so if you put single slash it will directly search in that tag but if you put double slash it will go and check in their elements so i'll put a double slash here and let's try to upgrade so 
so i'll go back to the apps menu and upgrade inheritance module click on upgrade button so you can see the module is getting upgraded without any issues now if i come to the invoice customers invoices click on create select a customer add a line and you can see line number field has been successfully added so this is how we can inherit and add a field to one to many field in Odoo. so if you like the video please do click the like button and make sure that you have subscribed the Odoo mates channel and press the bell icon so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you